That may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. We didn't get you into this situation. He did. The crooked man's been exploiting you. So exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The Sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just need... Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Yes, you're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... Oh, merde. He killed a man. That don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? What happened with Tweedledum? I made a mistake. He was attacking me, and I... I just acted. I didn't think. That's the only reason? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, they are good. Right dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Can't feel awkward. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to you. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. <sighs> I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. 
J'espère que ce sera plus avec nous que contre nous. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I know Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. <laughs> it's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. <laughs> Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you, enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. So we can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We we'll hein. you should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it's <laughs> <does. laughs> okay. okay. fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you oh, think putain. is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Oh, man. Ah. 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 Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. Au revoir. No, I won't. <laughs> Allez, on tire la chasse. For Lily. And faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. 